Uh, in June of this year, there was a new uh, parenting study, research study out on parenting styles. They called it parenting methods. And they looked at the methods the parents used and the outcomes the children uh, had long term. Um, and they were mainly, mainly looking at high incomes, high happiness, academic success, and a strong sense of morality. They surveyed 5,000 men and women about their relationships. And um, they were looking at four key factors. This interest, trust, rules, and independence as well as the amount of time they spent together and the experiences of being scolded. So they were talking to the adults about the parenting they had received, and then they cross-referenced that with uh, the, the various outcomes that they were looking for. And what they found is that they found six different categories of parenting methods. Four of them matched the parenting styles that traditional parenting research has found. The fifth they, not the fifth the way they list it, but they also found a fifth style which actually matches up with perfectionistic supervisor, which was the only parenting style the previous parenting research had not yet identified. But Parents Tool Shop has been teaching those five styles all along because they match with Alfred Adler's personality priorities. I was hoping someday that somebody would do a study into parenting styles and, and to identify this fifth parenting style that I've always taught. So now, finally, research has caught up to verify uh, and validate that the five parenting styles that Parents Tool Shop teaches is backed up by research, um, and that the parenting style that got the most positive outcomes is what we would call balanced parenting. Uh, the sixth one that they identified, uh, they just called average, which were that there were average levels for all the key factors. Um, I find that to be similar to parents who think that they recognize within themselves a little bit of every style, but when you dig a little bit deeper, it's not so much that they are consistently a little bit of every style. What they're doing is they're jumping around from what they want to do to what they were conditioned to do to what they do when they're angry to sounding like their mother to sounding like their father to, you know, so they're kind of more like bouncing around all over the place, which is, more, is just more inconsistent. So um, I don't know that I would, I, I think what it's really doing is just confirming the five. Uh, and I think that they use that average as a catch-all. So anyway, so that's new research. I'll be incorporating that into all the new resources that I'm preparing for the 2017, 2018, 25th anniversary um, editions of all the resources that I'm updating. So actually, the way I found this is I did a Google, I have a Google alert on around parenting research. And when this came out in June, it got picked up by newspapers and stuff all over the world. I've not, however, been able to find the actual study. So this is the diagram that they use. And what's really interesting is that a woman contacted me from Canada, and she was writing an article for a national parenting magazine in Canada and wanted to reprint my parenting style quiz, which is a very common request. And she asked me, are there any updates? And I told her about this new research. And so actually, um, she's already right away the first person who will be um, sharing kind of uh, the parents' tool shop has always taught these, what we call the styles, and how now this has uh, backed it up. So I gave her permission to use the scale. So I put that on the screen here. Um, and you can see how these match up with the different parenting styles that we teach also.